Hi everybody, Simon here. Today we're going to do a Kirby story. And the male person in this story, I'm naming after one of you subscribers that keeps having a little <laughs> poke, and that's Hein. H E I N. But I'm going to change that to Heinz. It's easier to say Heinz. The gentleman in question was from Germany, was a banker quite high up, possibly director, 60 years old at the time of this story, not far from retirement, had plenty of money, was gay. Heinz had a partner, a male partner, for quite a while and broke up. After that he never had another partner. Um, and he suddenly found himself coming to Thailand for his first holiday. Well, in fact, he, he visited four times a year ever since, well, for the last 15 years he's been doing it. <laughs> I'm still in contact with him social media occasionally. But back at the beginning, he uh, turned up at Bin Patea and he came into my bar and that's where we met. Lovely guy, slim, not too tall, had glasses. Um, well-dressed, well-spoken. He wasn't looking for guys. He was actually just looking um, for oral surgery. <laughs> oral extraction experts, but in the form of ladies. He found the uh, female anatomy enjoyable to view. So that's what he got into. No horizontal or vertical aerobics. He came into my bar. Um, this was about the same time that, uh, well it was the same time, that Kirby appeared. And many times each day he would reappear in my bar, maybe 10 in the morning, come back at 2, come back at 5, even come back at 9, 10 at night. He loved different interactions with different girls and he always told all the girls exactly what he wanted um, and was upfront with them all um, and offered to pay more than the going rate if he could interact with you know take one girl in the bar come back to the same bar and other girls and he would he, he made it clear to all of them right at the beginning and the mama son when he came in my bar um, in fact, he came in in the morning the first time, but when he came back in the evening, he talked to Frozen, told all the girls exactly what he wants, what he does, just wanted oral extraction experts, um, and that was it. So, of course, you know, that's music to the girls' ears. It's going to pay more money. So, nobody lost face. They were all in line. They formed a queue. And he did, he, every single bar, every girl in my bar, he, he accompanied at one time. This one day he came in in the morning and um, the night before Kirby had been in, she was a bit noisy, a little bit drunk, as per normal. And he said to me in the morning, I saw a girl here last night, she was over there, she was wearing this and she was a bit noisy. And I'm, oh yeah, that's Kirby. And he said, uh, don't see her in the daytime. Nah, she works at a different bar. She comes here after she's finished with customers. Her friend works here. And I said, she's meant to be the ultimate um, experience. And of course, you can imagine that. He's like, well, okay, the ultimate. This is a challenge and in his German little English twang. I said, she might be in tonight, don't I? And sure enough, he still took a, a, a girl from the bar. Um, off he went. And that evening, he picks another girl up in the afternoon as well. I think a freelancer from somewhere. He didn't care. He just, every girl. He came in, it must have been nine, ten at night. Um, 
ordered a drink and was sat by me. Kirby was in. She was at the front, shouting at people going down Soy 7. Yeah, uh, a little bit drunk again. She did like her drink. And he said, I want to take this girl. Okay. So I called Frozen over, told Frozen. Frozen told Apple. Apple told Kirby. Kirby came over. And Apple came over as well, just curious what's going on. Um, and yet, it took Kirby. Now, he went through three, four girls a day, but he never more than a couple of hours. It was always short time. Um, I didn't see him for two to three days. I didn't see Kirby. Um, so, something was going on out of the ordinary. He turned up uh, say three days later in the morning came in and um, he was I, I can remember that morning because he walked in there was myself there was toy the barmaid um, tomboy and the owner the Thai lady who owned the bar was doing some paperwork at the end of the bar and he walked in big smile on his face walked over and rang the bell. <laughs> there was no customers in there. <laughs> he just rang the bell. I thought, oh, crazy. Okay, that's the cheapest way of ringing the bell in a bar when there's only two or three people in there. <laughs> Don't ring the bell in the morning. I just want a coffee. <laughs> yeah, he came and rang the bell. So of course, toy. That's it, drink for the boss over here, drink for toy. Coffee for me. <laughs> he had a coffee as well. Cheap bill. But I remember that he walked in and rang the bell. And he sat down and he said to me, Simon, in his German accent, uh, she is the ultimate, ultimate machine, he called her. She was amazing and um, the best ever. Okay, but I said, I haven't seen you for two, three days. He said, yes, I keep her for two, three days. Never do before. But incredible. Uh, and then, of course, I'm inquisitive what poking him. Come on, this must have cost you a fortune. You say, I not care the money. I gave her 10,000, get this, 10,000 baht each day for three days. 30,000 baht. In today's money, that's, oh, that's like, that's nearly a thousand dollars for three days. He said, she was incredible, incredible. And I won't go into detail, but apparently massaging and, oh, yeah. No, but still, no horizontal aerobics. Just massages and, oh, yeah, three days. Well, okay, great, fantastic. Now you've done three days with her, you're going back to normal now with other girls. And he's, I cannot find a girl like this again. I, I want her more. But today she, she, she gone. She wants to go work. Uh, well, yeah, she's pretty bored, you know, doing the same thing for three days. And I said, well, that's up to you guys. You just, anyway, a couple of drinks. Off he went looking for a another girl just in between for the afternoon the evening he came back Kirby came back and Kirby said no to him oh my Kirby said no why did she say no he was paying huge money and he's like Simon she no she won't this is oh this is not good <laughs> she no and he sort of he, he sort of stormed off in a bit of a huff because she said no and off he went That's, uh, frozen apple Kirby come on what's going on and Kirby says yeah, he's okay he give me good money but I'm bored I want fun if he give me much more money then okay I will do this for one day two day but you can't have more money than 10,000 baht woman yes okay it was a normal day the rest of the day, next morning. And yeah, Heinz came back again in the morning, huffing and puffing, like 
a spoilt child that could not have his wish and he sat down coffee Simon I want Kirby last night a girl no good only Kirby good so I said to him I spoke to Kirby and she said yes okay for one two days but she wants lots of money because she bored I told him the truth and he's like oh good okay No, you really? Surely there's thousands of girls in Patea. Or guys, you know, you, you are gay. No, no, this is good. <laughs> mm. So, got out of Apple. Apple got out of Kirby. Kirby showed up. She went and sat in the corner at the front of the bar with Heinz. He bought her a drink. They sat there talking for a bit. Um, then he gave me the thumbs up, paid his bill, and off they went. Now to cut the story short, he had about another four days left of his holiday. Kirby stayed with him. He came back in the last day to say goodbye and he let Kirby go. And he told me that he had paid her double, 20,000 baht a day for those four days, three, four days. It's just ridiculous money. But he had the well, the time of his life, a well of a time, absolutely fantastic, and just confirmed that yes, Kirby was the best ever. Off he went, back to Germany, and he came back many times after. Um, he did take Kirby again afterwards a few times, but not as many. He started venturing off into the ladyboy bars and things so he was trying new things out there I take it but on that evening before as he, the, the day he went back I um, spoke to Kirby and yep yeah, he did pay her 20,000 baht a day so Kirby the ultimate ultimate girl from several different people now today one of you subscribers found some old footage and pictures from the FLB bar back in 2002 and posted it in the comments under one of the videos. I had a quick look, couldn't see the picture of Kirby, then was pointed out to look at the party pictures which I did and this subscriber found another knock, I think it was a year later on their site but it wasn't that one. Um, that one wasn't as pretty as the real Kirby. But I did find Kirby's picture on one of those party pics. So to that subscriber, thank you for taking me down memory lane. I can't share with you which girl she is. It's not fair. She might be married now. She might be settled down. She might even be one of your partners. So but if you can find that comment and the links, party pictures 2002 there is a picture of Kirby in those pictures I'm not going to tell you which one so there you go that's Heinz and Kirby just a story of reiterating that how good she was and uh, the amount of money she was making hope you enjoyed it there is another Kirby story to come but um, a bit more up and down and a bit more of a cliffhanger and an apple story as well plus we're just about to start a potentially long story could be quite a lot of episodes and again another subscriber has been poking me Tim so this is going to be Tim and the girls called Mim M-I-M and I won't tell you any more, but that potentially could be a very long one. I might have to put some other videos up next to it so you guys don't get too bored waiting. A lot's happening. I'll see you whenever the next video is. Have a great day. Bye for now.